Hi, this is Buzz Canner from American Iron Magazine, AIMAG.com, talking about panheads today. We have three very interesting and very different panheads. The first one that we can see up front is a 1965 FL. Uh, 65 is the first electric start Big Twin Harley and the last panhead. It's the only 12 volt panhead from the factory and you can tell by the uh, large battery box, the 12 volt battery here on the side versus all the others that are up inside the oil tank. So the motor is basically the same, 65 different oiling systems but 1965 Panhead. This is an ex-police bike and it will be a future project bike for American Iron Magazine. Next to it, 1955 Harley Panhead with a sidecar. Uh, this is a same front end, you see the telescopic forks, but while the 65 has rear shocks and swing arm, the 55 does not. We'll come around with the sidecar here. And it's a rigid, so there's no shocks back there. Uh, again, 50 uh, pan heads, same thing, with different oiling system. And the oil tank is here, it's a horseshoe oil, and the battery would go inside it. So this is a mid-year, 1955 Harley Panhead. And then on the end is a 1948 Harley Panhead, the first year Panhead, and the only one for all intents and purposes with a Springer front end. This is a rigid, you can see it, the saddlebags aren't there and the battery is up inside underneath that cover in the oil tank. So 1948. Uh, if you notice the dashes are fairly similar. Uh, standard placement in the middle with the speedometer, the dash. This is a two light. Uh, you can tell it's got the generator and the oil lights would go on to tell you there's a problem. The 55 is very similar, different color dash. Yes, that's a, a halo around the outside. That's an option from the time. And sorry about turning the camera. And the 1965 is a three light. One for the generator, two and three for the oil. And uh, this is a police model, says police. So there you have it, three very different pan heads all fairly color correct, not totally correct, but fairly correct. And the thing that's unusual about them is all three of them are hand shifters. They have a foot clutch, foot clutch down here with a toe heel, and a hand shifter here. You can see the shifter gate. So 1948 Harley Panhead, 1955 Harley Panhead, and 1965 Harley Panhead. No, that's not an original um, shifter ball on it, but it is kind of cool. The other thing you can tell from this side is the primary down here on the 65 is a solid cast. That's to handle the electric starter and all the torque on it. Whereas all the other ones, and it's sealed, so in theory it should not be leaking. The 55 is a tin one, so it would be leaking oil out of it. The the breather breathes down, the 48 is the same way, it's 10, what, 10, I mean literally it's 10. And uh, they're hollow inside, the oil drips down out of the breather, and the crankcase down onto the primary chain eventually drops down. So three very distinct pan heads, all relatively correct, not museum correct, but pretty correct. 1948, first year. Uh, Panhead, only year with a Springer. They did make a couple in 49, but they're pretty rare. Uh, Mid-year, 1955, uh, still a rigid, but has telescopic forks. And last year, Panhead, 1965, swing arm with telescopic forks and 12 volt. Once again, Buzz Cantor from American Iron Magazine, AIMAG.com. A little bit of history about Harley Panheads.